Okay, well, here we go. <clears throat> this is the Harmony Resurrection Project. And uh, she's coming along. And uh, I've got the neck reset. And uh, th what you see right... Th I'm, I'm recording! Shut up! So there's the neck. It's reset. I still got a little issue there with uh, some of that uh, neck bowing. Uh, you can see uh, the neck is set pretty nice. Uh, it's about as good as I'm going to make it uh, without uh, screwing something up. So... Uh, so we got to move on. Look at all that wood I had to put on there. There's a lot of uh, see that gaping hole in there. Uh, there's a that's a lot of super glue, folks. Uh, on the sides, I had to add two, three strips of mahogany. Uh, the tip broke off on the top. It's actually the bottom or the heel of the of the uh, uh, neck. Um, what I did was I used tight bond to glue that back together, and I also used dap wood filler. And the reason why I did that is because, although I'm never going to hide it, at least I can sand and stain uh, damp wood filler. It'll look a little better. Um, it's holding up pretty nice. Um, I had to push the uh, the body back up. Um, you know, the from years of string tension and the neck bowing, it pulled the uh, it pulled the spruce top way down. So I've got it pushed up, and uh, and I and you know some of the pieces of spruce I replaced in there. And, uh, you know, once the neck goes together, it, it should go together pretty good. It's, it's starting to line up pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's good. Uh, there's a piece, of, there's a little stick in there uh, between the two bracing boards. It's wedged in there pretty tight, and it's putting a lot of pressure. Uh, what I did was I took my little Dremel tool, and that big gaping hole, um, it was all jagged edged. I, I cleaned it up. I uh, put a piece of mahogany behind it, and then I took a Dremel tool and smoothed out the edges as best I could. Took a piece of paper, just screw it with a pencil. I, I scratched it out so that I can then lay that piece over uh, another uh, piece of wood. I've got some uh, bent mahogany wood that I got from my buddy John Hall over at Blues Creek Guitars. Uh, took that piece of paper and I would uh, uh, mount it on. There's the piece of wood. I'm just going to take that piece of paper and mount it on that piece of wood just in the right place. I'm going to cut that piece out a little bit bigger than the hole. And then I'm going to carefully try to uh, sand uh, my way down into that, that piece of wood to get that piece of wood to lay right in there so that I can uh, get it back in there. Uh, then, then it'll be just to touch up with, uh, with a little wood filler and some sanding. It, sh it, it should look pretty nice. Uh, the guitar is coming along pretty good. Um, I'm going to add some more purfling. I'm going to add some, uh, some, I'm going to jazz it up a little bit and fix it up, but the, the guitar is worth it. Uh, that's where I'm taping the piece of paper onto the piece of bent uh, mahogany to make my fixed piece. The neck, I uh, just got finished drilling the holes for the uh, pearl inlay dots. Um, I don't know, I've got the whole thing sanded down. I'm going to sand it some more. I don't know what to do with the headstock. Um, the, uh, I really hope I can keep it. I like the Harmony Sovereign headstock. It's not in good condition. I'm going to put new tuners on it. Uh, there is some chipping going on and, and, and wear and tear. Uh, you can see right there where the, uh, where the dovetail meets the fretboard. There's a little gap, a gap there. I'm leaving myself a little room for bending. Uh, 